The latest developments now in the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. Today, the two sides argued over whether another shooting allegedly involving Hernandez can be presented as evidence in the Odin Lloyd murder case. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live at Fall River Superior Court with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. And the judge already ruled on this once. Prosecutors asked her to reconsider. She did, and her ruling stands. Four months before Odin Lloyd was shot to death, prosecutors say Aaron Hernandez shot his friend Alexander Bradley in the face. But the jury will not hear about the alleged shooting in Florida. The defendant has done nothing to date that reasonably can be viewed as opening the door to allow the evidence. Earlier this week, prosecutors filed a motion asking the judge to reconsider her prior ruling banning the Bradley testimony, saying the defense did open the door for it by arguing Odin Lloyd and Aaron Hernandez were friends, just like Hernandez and Bradley were friends. We just think it's fair, uh, as a matter of fundamental fairness, that we would be able to put in that evidence to rebut the suggestion that um, essentially he does have no motive when in fact such evidence uh, does exist. But the defense successfully argued that the comparison is not relevant to this case. The fact that we say he has no motive, the fact that we say he and Lloyd are friends, which I think we have and will continue to prove during the course of the trial, uh, that's part of our defense. That's a completely appropriate defense. It relates to Odin Lloyd. It doesn't relate to anybody else or his relationship with anybody else. Now, obviously, all of those arguments happened when the jury was not in the courtroom. Coming up new at 6, hear what the jury did hear about gunshot residue and tire tracks. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Now, Aaron Hernandez on trial. Today, the judge ruled for a second time that another shooting allegedly involving the former football player cannot be presented as evidence in this case. New at 6, what the jury did hear about gunshot residue and tire tracks. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live outside Fall River Superior Court. Today, jurors got a close-up look at some of the evidence. Prosecutors rolled a tire into the courtroom, and a witness held up bullet-riddled clothing in front of the jury box. During the investigation into Odin Lloyd's death, a lot of evidence was taken to the Massachusetts State Police Crime Lab. Sherry Menendez works there. She says she swabbed several items for DNA, including shell casings, the 22 caliber gun that was discovered in the woods near the crime scene, and a white towel that was found near Odin Lloyd's body. She also tested the clothing Odin Lloyd was wearing when he was shot to death for gunshot residue. That can help investigators determine how far away the shooter was. Distance would be uh, approximately three feet. Without test firing a gun, you don't know what the actual muzzle to target distance is, right? Not of each um, exact hole. We also heard from a trooper who compared tire tracks at the murder scene to the tires on Aaron Hernandez's rented Nissan Altima. I found that um, the rear passenger tire test impression was in agreement with class characteristics within a particular section to the question impression. We haven't heard testimony yet about the results of that DNA testing, but we did learn there was no gunshot residue on Aaron Hernandez's rented Nissan Altima or on the mattress in his guest bedroom where housekeepers say they saw a gun. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.